On TV, he battled crime as the star of Walker, Texas Ranger on CBS. Well, tonight, actor Chuck Norris has a different kind of fight on his hands. He and his wife are suing a Bay Area drug company. They say she almost died during what should have been a routine test. The couple sat down exclusively with KPIX 5's Betty Yu. My whole life is focused on keeping her as well as I possibly can. You know, I've had to give up my film career. Action star Chuck Norris is facing a legal battle, taking on San Francisco-based McKesson and other drug companies in a multi-million dollar lawsuit filed in San Francisco Superior Court today. It claims a chemical or contrast dye known as gadolinium, commonly used in MRIs to improve clarity, poisoned his wife Gina and nearly killed her. I had horrible brain damage. I couldn't, I couldn't think anymore. Um, any type of um, cognition, being able to articulate my memory. Uh, I had muscle wasting. It was scaring me to death, uh, Betty. Yeah. You know, and I said, it's not, it, nothing's going on here. She's dying. She's dying right in front of me. Gina says she immediately felt an intense burning sensation after she was injected with the dye during three routine MRI scans in about a week to check for the rheumatoid factor five years ago. After multiple ER visits and months long hospital stays, the couple has spent nearly $2 million in out of pocket expenses to heal her central nervous system. She gets regular stem cell treatments in China. I feel really bad about the people that are going through this that don't have the money, like I am uh, uh, right. fortunate enough to have, to be able to get these things done. And, and so it's really company. frustrating, Betty. Studies have shown that gadolinium is retained by organs such as the brain, bones, and skin. Recently, the FDA announced that it will require additional warnings. This past summer, a European group recommended stopping some gadolinium dyes as a precaution. MRIs are very effective. We don't want to see that go away. The, I mean, it saves, you know, countless lives, and that needs to stay. I do think that we need to see maybe some new generation MRIs created that don't require any type of contrast. And the couple wants to hold drug companies accountable. Their attorneys say gadolinium deposition disease is a newly recognized one in mainstream medicine. McKesson tells KPIX 5 it is aware of the lawsuit and is currently reviewing the complaint and will respond in a timely manner. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.